is blue. Let's see. Oh! Oh! Yes! Okay, so... Okay, so I bought a Tesla Model 3 and I don't have an outlet to plug it in at. I thought I could use the supercharger network. It's really close to my house, but it's become a little inconvenient to try and wake up early, go there, charge my car. Um, and it's so, so nice to leave the house with a full tank of electrons. So I'm gonna install it and I'm gonna show you how I do it. I went to Home Depot, spent a couple bucks, and hopefully we can make it happen. All right, let's check it out. First up, you're gonna need some tools. Check out my sweet new tool belt. Noob right here. Come on. If you don't have time for the full story, go ahead and skip ahead to the 10 minute mark and uh, I'll explain how to wire in the panel and the breaker and the rest of the uh, charger. Nima. Nima, Nima, Nima. What do I call this? Well, it's called a 50, 50 amp service mounted power outlet. I thought they called it. Oh, Nima 1450. Anyways. There we go. We've got our Nima 1450. Stinker. Oh, oh, oh. This slides, slides out. Gotcha. Looks funky on the inside. Alright, just. Okay. Oops. Put that back together like that. For now, I got a 60 amp breaker. That's what we call it. And I got a 16 by 3. I'm sorry, six three wires. So there's three, uh, three conductor wires. So you have two hot, one neutral, and one ground. This is for uh, 240, 240, obviously. And hopefully it'll be thick enough for the amperage. All right, let's see what we got. Okay. We are here in the glorious basement. And uh, let me grab my screwdriver. All right, got the screwdriver. Let's see if we can get the right tip. Trying to figure out where I should put this. Some juicy wire. Okay. We got our clamp connectors. Wasn't sure which one, so I got half and three quarters. I think I'm just gonna come right inside here. There's knockouts here. I don't know if you can see it knockouts here there's my breaker 60 amp breaker so I just boop run my ground and my neutral up there like that and then uh, I'll just punch a hole in the block right here and go outside that should be good let's uh, see what happens I normally wouldn't go on the side like this and make it ugly, but I plan on putting a new panel in here. This is, this is only 150 amp. I want to put, I'm supposed to get solar and 
be awesome put a 200 amp panel in there Open this bad boy all the way up. Let's see. Ooh, that's tight. Oh, yeah, that's tight. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I put it on backwards. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ooh, that's tight. Get out of my life right now. We go like this. Put that in there. Put that in there got. Get our ring. Slip that guy on. Alright, so I want to separate my two lines here. I have my two hots, right? I have a red and a black. That should be my hot wires. Or and then I have a, a ground and a neutral. And uh, if you're not familiar with uh, residential electric, which I'm not really, but I know a little bit, enough to get me in trouble. Hopefully I don't blow myself up. Ground and uh, neutral uh, go to the same bus bar. So your neutral should be ground as well. You got that, like that. Unravel this out here, like this. And I'm thinking, you go right through the wall, like that. Get my new toy. It is a rotary hammer drill from Milwaukee. Only Milwaukee, it's the best. quarter inch bit and they're like this oh yeah um, all right it's so light I love it where to go through here we'll find out See if we're through the wall here. Tesla. Oh boy. Oh no. I think that where we're at. the wall now. I got a feeling we came up through the vinyl. Ooh, we did. Ouch. The damage is done. You done good. Let's get you out the wall. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, that is beautiful. That's nice. That's real nice. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Let's, uh... At this point, you're going to take your white wire, which is your neutral. Uh, on the left side, you can see that silver bar there where the ground and neutral wires go into. You're going to want to try and get it nice and tight. See how I'm bending it to make an L. Uh, that will make it nice and clean up the side of the panel and then you can get the uh, appropriate uh, measure so you can cut it. So as you can see here I'm just uh, gonna try, I got my measurement, I'm gonna cut up with these Lyman pliers and um, then I'm gonna take a pair of strippers, um, well I'm gonna use the Lyman pliers to strip the coating on. The, these six gauge wires are really tough uh, but you should be able to get it fairly easy. They're thick copper wires. It's not like 18 gauge. You're going to nick it and, and uh, lose one of the strands. These should do pretty well. So just strip that off and then uh, try and get that in there uh, into one of those screw holes. Okay. So I could connect these, cut them, connect them, the breakers off. But just to be safe, I'm going to go outside. And hook this guy up. For those of you not aware, to get 240 volts, you have two lines of 120 volts. Your red and your black are 120 volts each. That's how you get your 240 volt wire or power, whatever you want to call it. Oh boy. Now, as far as our ground, maybe we'll sneak him there sneak our neutral in there uh, yes okay we gotta remove that a little bit all right as you can see we have our 6-3 wire wired up we have our hot two hots here on either side one two and then our neutral and a ground and this is what the cover looks like just slide that over and and boom you have a cheap homemade extension cord Hopefully, it will be long enough to reach my Tesla. All right, so just got to get our guys set here. And tuck this guy away. All right. Well, we've got our wires in. And... Uh, I just gotta plug this guy in. All right, let's do this. Oh, jeez, Louise. All right, moment of truth, all hooked up. 
All right, nothing blew up yet. Let's go plug our Tesla in. All right, $35 from Tesla. I had it at the store when I picked it up. This should be the NEMA 1540 to fit in here like that. Right, looks like it fits. Let's get our Tesla cord. in the here let's see <gasps> Ooh. we got green what Yeah. Babe, I'm going to be a YouTube star. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe so that I can be a YouTube star. Come on, people. Does it work? <gasps> It's blue. Let's see. Oh! Oh! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh yeah. Six hours and 50 minutes. I love it. For, let's see. My NEMA 1540 outlet, that was $13. My 6.3 wire extension cord that I professionally popped through there. All said and done. Oh, my breaker. I think that was about $20, the 60 amp breaker. Um, so 13 50, so we got 63 plus another 20, 83 under a hundred bucks. I am charging my Tesla. Oh, you know what? So we got 83, we got to add 35, so we got 110, 100, 120 bucks charging our car. Our Tesla Model 3 overnight because the 110 guy wasn't cutting it. All right, that's how you do it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about it. And um, let me know how stupid and illegal it was. If you'd do it, if you wouldn't do it and uh, what I could improve on next time. Let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. In the meantime, we're gonna charge it up.